Hi everyone, so I am very excited because at the weekend me and Lily and our other halves are going off on holiday. It's a sort of two-parter and um, for the weekend we're going to Paris. Me and Lily just going there by Eurostar, nice and easy, but the boys are actually cycling there in under 24 hours, which is amazing. I'm so excited for them. I have my fingers crossed. I can't wait to meet them at the finish line. They're both actually raising money for charities which are very dear to their hearts, so I'll link below to their donation pages and any donations are much appreciated. So that is part one. Part two, we're going to go down to the south of France and just have a bit of R&R time, have a bit of fun, go to the beach. I am so ready for this. It's been a while, but today I'm just having a real organisation and packing day. And I just packed up all my beauty supplies and I thought I would share that with you today because I have managed to fit them into this handy Muji case, which I'm very happy about. I've got a feeling Este did a post because she uses a similar setup. I'll see if I can find that and link that below. Saw that. I like mentally stored it for future travels, picked one up the other day and I'm very happy with it indeed. It's a tight squeeze but it's all in there, there you go, see? So in here I have hair, body, skincare and makeup. It's all in here, there was a lot of decanting going on. But this is a really handy case, on this side you've got space for like mascaras and tubey things and brushes. And then in here, you can actually buy some of their plastic storage to pop in and make things a bit more organised. So I picked up one of these boxes that had a little six divider in it, because I thought that'd be really handy for actually when you're on holiday, you can just pop your brushes and your makeup in it and actually have something out on the counter. Now before I start dissecting this all apart, it's worth pointing out, this holiday is a game of two halves, and so there are some beauty products that are more appropriate for the city break side of the trip, and then some that are more for the beach. There are also a few things that I'm missing that I didn't manage to squeeze in here, and that is my my deodorant it's massive and it's the only one that really works for me so that is just gonna have to be packed separately I probably would also pack another muslin cloth or flannel but I've just gone for the one because we're actually not away for that long which leads me on to my third point that we're only away for a few days so I don't really need a huge tub of sun cream or after sun or shampoo or shower gel those things that sometimes it's better if you're going away for a long time just to take the full size off so I've been able to miniature everything and this time round I picked up some little travel containers from Tiger. they were super cheap a few pounds and I got some nice little cute tubs and then also some longer ones for things like shower gel so now we're actually moving on to hair and I've only got four products here I probably will take along a hair dryer with me but probably not straighteners because Lily always has that taken care of so for shampoo and conditioner I've gone for the Bumble and Bumble invisible oil sulfate free shampoo and conditioner which I purchased a few months back and I said that I would use them for travel so I've stayed true to my word and I also threw in the heat UV protective primer which is good because it works like a leave-in conditioner so especially if I'm going to be in the pool or in the sea this will help to detangle things and keep my hair nice and soft however if I do want to rock that surfer girl look I have bought the bumble on bumble surf spray and really on holiday that's the only time that I use this these days because it does leave my hair quite dry but on holiday sometimes you want that bit of texture and I did also pack my wet brush and I've put round the little bit here I've put um, some hair bands and also some hair pins in case I felt like getting my plait on. <laughs> for body I've gone quite minimal as well and I decanted some of the shower gel that I'm using at the moment into here and it's the original source lavender and tea tree one I think. I also put in the nukes I can never say this but it's their multi-usage dry oil you know the one I normally use this on holidays this is a brand new one but this is good because it works beautifully as just a body moisturizer you can use it on your face in your hair so if anything's dry that is where this comes in. I also packed a mini sample I had of the Caudalie Divine Legs Tinted Body Lotion because I thought I will be getting my legs out in the evenings and maybe I'm going to want to do a bit of tanning and then also a Nivea SPF 50 I think for face or body mainly because it was the smallest one I had and like I said we're not going for that long so I've just gone for a really small one which will probably do a good like two full body applications for the days that we're there. Oh and my razor. <laughs> Moving on to skincare and I actually have a blog post planned for tomorrow detailing my five step routine so keep an eye out for that because you'll think Anna this is not five products but I will explain more then. Got the muslin cloth like I said I probably would pack a few more if I was away for longer but short space of time and all that and I've gone for everything in miniature so I've got 
the tiniest bottle of Bioderma you have ever seen. <laughs> this is the Oskia Renaissance Cleansing Gel, and then I've also gone for the Omravitska Queen of Hungry Mist in a little spritzer that I picked up from Muji. This little container looks a little bit suspicious, but I assure you that it is the Oskia Super 16 Serum. And then in these that I picked up from Tiger, in one I have the Zellens 3T Moisturiser, and in the other one the Zellens Facial SPF. And I also have a ton of cotton buds and cotton pads because I love a good cotton bud. I honestly think these are like my number one beauty essential. On to the exciting bit which is obviously makeup and I have sat there and scratched my head and I think I've come up with a nice little edit that isn't too big but it's going to give me a lot of choices for when I'm in Paris but also in the south of France and I think I've got everything covered but we will see. I've gone for two bases which feels a bit extravagant, but I picked up the Chanel Vitalimia Aqua Foundation, this is in the shade B10, and then also this is the Chantecai Just Skin Tinted Moisturiser in the shade Glow, I think. This is going to be more for when I'm out and about in Paris and also not tanned because this is my pale, more natural colour, and then this is going to be for when hopefully I'm looking a bit more sun-kissed and radiant on the proper beachy side of the holiday. To aid my bronzeness, because I actually hate sitting out in the sun, love sitting in the shade and normally come back paler than I left, I've got this from Becca, it's a little tiny sample of their Bronzing Skin Perfector. Now I thought this would be good to mix in with my foundations to make them a little bit more golden, but also to use on the tops of my cheekbones as like a liquid bronzer. The other thing that I've got for cheeks is the Clinique Chubby Stick in Robust Rhubarb, and I didn't pack any highlighter because I will no doubt be producing my own natural sheen. <laughs> to keep that under control, I am bringing along a little sample I have of the Makeup Forever HD Powder. Oh, and I forgot this, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer in Extra Light. Whenever I wear anything on my eyes, I have to use this. It's from NARS and it's their Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Of course that's coming with me. And I thought for eyes I would just keep it very simple, no powders which are kind of prone to breaking when you're traveling and throwing bags around. So I've just gone for sticks instead. I did bring an eyeliner. This is from Marc Jacobs and it is their Highliner Gel Crayon in the shade Brown Out. Fabulous stuff, love that. Super long lasting, super waterproof, though I don't bother with makeup when I'm doing sea or pool or any of that business. So I picked up these just for the evenings really. The Clinique Chubby Stick Shadow Tint for Eyes in the shade Full of Fudge. And then the Charlotte Tilbury Colour Chameleon in Bronze Garnet for Green Eyes Day. And I thought I could just use these almost as like a liner, like the Marc Jacobs, or just all over the lid when I fancy a quick wash of colour. And to finish off the eyes, I have the Fairy Drops Scandal Queen Waterproof Mascara, which I am beyond in love with at the moment, and also the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Soft Brown. For lips, I feel like I deserve a bit of a pat on the back here, because I got it down to three products, and I think, I think that's pretty good. I've got a lip balm, the Clinique, uh, what's this, the Repair in intensive lip treatment. I'm sure that will be packed on my carry-on luggage. And then I've gone for a nude option and a bright option. For the nude option, I've gone for the Dior Addict Lipstick in Model, which is very MAC patisserie-like. And then for brights, I've gone for this. It's from Sephora, and it is one of their MAC cream lip stains. And this is in the shade 3. Pow, look at that. We're almost there. We're just left with the miscellaneous tools and brushes and bits and bobs. Eyelash curlers, of course. I have a mini mirror from Muji which actually sits up on its own and although it's quite small I can fit my whole face in the mirror which is quite a good thing so I have quite a big face. I've got a rollerball of the Stella McCartney perfume, earplugs of course, eye drops because I get very red eyes and extremely red eyes when I'm traveling and tired. And then there's the trio of tools that you always need to remember when traveling. Nail file, nail scissors, tweezers. And then finally for brushes I have six. I have the Bobbi Brown Full Coverage Face which will do all of my face products which are actually quite creamy but this will do concealer, foundation, that cream bronzer that I showed you, the Clinique Robust Rhubarb, it'll do all that kind of stuff. I also bought the NARS Kabuki along with me for the Makeup Forever Powder, which I'm, I'm semi-tempted to take out because I'm not sure if I will just embrace the glow, but I'm thinking for Paris I might want it looking a little bit matte, who knows. And then for eyes I have this double-ended Tarte brush which I use quite a lot, mainly for the spoolie, I do love the spoolie on the end. Eyes, three brushes, this is basically all I ever use now when it comes to my eye makeup. This is the MAC 242 great for applying colour all over the eye and especially with the Clinique whatever it's called chubby eye thing this is really good for taking it off of the top and spreading that all over the eye because sometimes that can be a bit big. MAC 217 to blend and then the Bobbi Brown eye blender to blend some more and just generally make my whole makeup routine feel very luxurious and amazing. <laughs> 
And that is everything. See, empty, all gone. But I'm quite impressed with that. There's every single beauty item into here, nicely packed away and in quite a semi-organised way as well. So keep an eye out for next Tuesday's vlog because that is when all of the Paris fun will be going up. And fingers crossed I can get it up on time because I will actually be away in the south of France then. And I've heard the internet access where we are is semi-okay, so hopefully it should be up. And I won't actually be vlogging properly while I'm away in the south of France, but I am going to take my GoPro with me so there might be some like cool underwater shots of us just having fun on the beach so it'll be like a very quick semi vlog but there will still be videos going up while we're away so I really hope you enjoy those but thank you so much for watching hope you've had a great week and I will see you on Sunday with a brand new video bye